Uh, he, uh, if he shoots at boys, he's getting 12 shots. Okay. He'll kill eight, probably. Then he'll be worth your time. That's the for my boys. Yeah, there's a reason why I went with the Manticore. It's like, you know, with Blast, in, like, uh, the Manticore, with Blast, like, stock goes up a fair bit, because you can just hammer a boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's only a five-turn game. Him only having four shots. <laughs> I mean, he's really yeah, good at one less One less level of... Uh... Impactful. Oh, and the Knight of Warlord tank commander. Uh, there's also an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor because yeah. that's a normal thing to do these days for Imperium. Did you get the audio? Uh, no. Yeah. He's the. Um, yeah, it should all be working great. Right. She can requisition people three on ones against Xenos, and that's just a random side grade against you. Like, but. I do need more light in here. Oh, yeah? It's making it, it was, the table looks kind of grainy because it's not brighter. Uh, the ceiling's white, even those white ceilings are pretty quite good. Well, the camera looks a little out of focus, so. Can I see that book for a second? Smash guns go up. Uh, there was some feedback that um, Chuck's recaps at the end of the beginning of a turn were super helpful for people that have to step out in the middle of a three hour stream, <laughs> um, which I think is great. The other thing is, people have a hard time knowing what everything is from a top down, so a couple times per game, they think it'd be useful to be like, Just These are my smash guns over here, and these are big units of boys. Oh, yeah. That, that was actually very easy to tell with my list this time. Is it is it a big base or is it a little base? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually does it have a giant bag of cardboard around it? Yeah. Because they all look really great. When they're, yeah, they look awesome. Hi everybody. Good morning. I like this at Hell Canada. That that amuses me. Welcome to stream game number three. We will they will be playing mission number three, which is called a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, can't think I, of have, I have noticed that they all have names. Yes. <laughs> this, like other missions, has a name. Um, they're going to be in table quarters, uh, and the special object, the special secondary that they can take is to pull the middle objective or one of their opponent's object or their opponent's objective. 
Uh, other than that, it's the same as all the rest of the mission pack. It'll be Chuck who will have a large quantity of smasher guns on these and custom uh, bases. That Cus created. Custom bases. <laughs> And then he brought 150 orc boys as well. 120 boys, 15 smash guns, and the five supporting characters we did bring up. Yeah. The boys. So very, so, very simple army. Yeah, and then uh, Peter is bringing some guard that he'll walk you through. But the general idea of this game is everyone's saying Horde is dead. We don't know that that's true. The missions, if you don't pay attention to the rules changes of this and you just pay attention to the missions, Horde seem great. Yeah. So. <laughs> because it's all about table control. Basically, we find out is there a reason they did all this stuff to hurt Horde. Exactly. <laughs> and so one of the things that's come up is that Blast is, oh, it's so good against Horde, blah, blah, blah. Sure, but like in this game, you'll see the Blast weapons that Peter has actually want to shoot the Smasher guns. Yeah. So, we'll, so we'll sorry. see how much that matters. If I touch that Blast weapon in combat, which my 120 boys are absolutely going to be trying to do with it's lots a, of CP by the way, it's over. I, I, I yeah. shut it down for the turn. Right. And so. then it backs up, and then you charge it again. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it, it, it's... it's Dangerous. I think what you've got is some blast and then some screen, which I think is the right, right. mix. I think if you play, that. when Peter and I played last night, and this is just to help all you guard players out there, Peter played heavy vehicles, and what I mean by that is lots of vehicles, not like shadow swords that are yeah. terrible now, <laughs> uh, but like Russes and Chimeras and stuff. And what we found is that whether it be Wraith Lords or Dire Avengers or Wave Serpents, as soon as I started touching, I could just kind of bong, bong, bong along yep. the board, and, and it would never. The game would never end for yeah. Peter. Like you'd never get to play again. Peter's so, got some bullrings to help. Yeah, change so that time. You need the counter. The, you need the counter charge. Now in this game, if boys come up and grab a tank, and the bullring wade into those boys, it's not good for the boys. <laughs> no, those boys are gonna have a really bad time. But I've got one more boss who would like to have a word. So yep, we, we, we've like, got some counter charge. Counter charge. Yeah. Yeah. The X factor with um, with all, all those blast weapons is that the board is it like it, obviously it's smaller, but the net effect of that. On the actual game, it's a lot more challenging to keep consistent distance between you and other factions. We actually talked about this at Mod of all places the other day with the kids. Yeah. Because the difference, I can, what are the sizes of the mod pieces? Uh, eleven versus six. Yeah. So we talked about eleven versus six and how that sounds like it's about double the area, but because of the way geometry yeah. works, it's way more than double the area mm -hmm. because you're. You're talking about a circle versus a circle. The board, people think, oh, well, you lost a foot and then you lost inches on the sides. But in general area, it's more than it sounds like. I was just listening to Rochester say 23 point something percent of the board shrunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is, that when you think about that, we're like, okay. Right. And so when I was playing with Peter last night, wave serpents were amazing because 16 inch move and then charge was a lot on a tiny board. Yep. But the planes, the Crimson Hunters, were hard. And because they were hard to find line of sight and they were hard to keep, you know, it was, and they were just hard. It was, I had 48 inch range conqueror cannons, and they could just always I, I was always shooting his planes. Yeah. So, with that, I will let them get underway, and uh, make, we were going to, we're going to try today to be a little bit more um, summary throughout, so you guys can keep track of what's happening easier. Um, I'm sorry if the table is a little bit dark. Um, I don't have all the lighting I want in here yet. So, sorry about that. That was the other feedback we got. I need to go get a whole bunch of extension cords because, like, the garage, all the power is over there, and we're over here, so I can't get all the lights plugged in at the moment. Yeah. So with that, I will let them kick off. I'm gonna go play some Tyranids and do some knights on the other table. Stompy stomp. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this time as, as Chuck is figuring out his secondaries to uh, um, talk through what I'm bringing. I've got uh, trip. I'm running to one. I've got triple tank commanders. I'm actually buying the heavy bolters because I plan on taking advantage of the of the Talarn order to scoot after shooting and seeing how well I can use that to take advantage of new LOS rules. Um, I've got a single wyver and a single manticore um, and three chimeras, a unit of nine bolgren and 50 guardsmen and an assortment of characters to cast psychic powers and all of that fun stuff. So, yeah, it's Pretty normal looking guard list. Um, you don't usually see manticores. <laughs> I feel that way when I want to. I'm excited about 2d6 versus horse. <laughs> that sounds like a fun number. Well, why would you pick 2d6 when Baker, you could just have 12? Baker's dozen. <laughs> Baker's dozen. Um, our good friend uh, Seth from the Bangley Boys does not want the Smasher Guns to do well. 
And the reason why is he does not want to buy full more set, not set, Smasher Guns. I, um, so you might I want to feel... talk to him about what buying 12 Smasher Guns looks like in the world of Chuck. So what? what... <laughs> I think you own three actual Smasher Guns, right? No, I own six actual Smash Guns. Okay. I will not own 12 more actual Smash Guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually really like the model, though, and the bits that it came with are very welcome in my bits box. So, I don't know. Oh, I see what's happened. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, this is something... Can well, This is important. Can you guys look at the screen for a second? Yeah. With the people that are on stream, the table has gotten pushed, and so you can't see the bottom of this anymore, and you can see it up here. And so the camera's very hard to move, so we should just we just need to ju adjust the table a bit. I need to go that way. But this is a thing where probably that happened yesterday. People complained about it last night, and I was like, what are you talking about? That should be good. Let's see what Oh, hello, Cyber. And it, this is the light, so. Yeah, give it a second. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, okay that should Do be we need good. to bring it down? No, it's good. Okay. I think it's all right. Well, it's missing an inch right here. But it's maybe here. I'm just gonna pull it a little bit this way, like that. That was the wrong way, wasn't it? Wait, was it the wrong way? Hold on. It was the wrong way. Just two I'm sorry, it's two S's, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it does matter. Okay. I asked you guys how to spell it, and you told me. And you, I was yeah. working on my list. Okay, I just don't think we're gonna see this inch right here, guys. Sorry, this inch here doesn't matter. That inch? Every inch matters. This, it's like this much, I can't say. Yeah. Nobody's going to put a model right there anyways, because it's going to fall off the flipping table. <laughs> okay, <true>. so <laughs> guys, for my secondaries, I'm going to take the mission objective, which is direct assault, hold the center objective, or hold this objective in Peter's deployment zone, or if I hold both of them, I get five points for it. I'm going to take bring it down, because there's a whole crap ton of tanks, and I might as well get points for killing them. Uh -huh. And the last one is psychic like ritual. I believe my weird boy is going to jump on the first turn, probably get injured doing that, and then he's just going to cast the Psychic Ritual from that point forward, which gives me four turns to attempt to get it off three times. Should be basically foolproof. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. It's, okay. it's orc proof though. That's the, is it orc proof? I need to Everything's orc proof. I need to very quickly figure out my secondaries. Yeah. Um, then there are ranks. When ranks, that's the, the automatic <laughs> one. Uh, and my question is... Um, These count for two each will bring it down. Okay, uh, are those, do those compete? Are they in the same category? That's the thing, it's like, there's... there's oh no, they're separate categories. They're separate categories? Okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, we've got thinner ranks. Um, bring it down. Yeah, we'll just do bring it, bring it down. Uh, I don't know if you do the other one. Um, and honestly, because I have three psychers in this list. Because I have uh, two astropaths and an inquisitor, um, you can I interrogate me pretty easily. I think I'm going to go for uh, the interrogation. Yeah. I, I can't not bring my characters because then my board falls apart. So. Yep. Cool. We'll see so some whichever, whatever one that one's called. Uh, actually, does it just psychic interrogation? Uh, mental interrogation. Mental interrogation. Yeah. Brain finance. And that's very similar to the uh, the psychic power the Inquisitor already has. That, that one gets me a CP, not a victory point, so that's cool. You can, you um, can farm some points. Yeah! Which would you like this turn? Farm some um, points. Should we roll to see who's deploying where? Um, realistic? Uh, I mean, yes, we, we do. That is a thing, that is, that is a decision. I think we do. I'm just trying to analyze the board. Which are the corners that we use? Are they... These, these two? two? Yeah. Those two? So okay. We, we get an L, and we get these big blocks of things to hide behind. All right, dice are open. We're going to use the fancy casino die. You did it. I beat you, um, which means, I believe, because I'm the attacker, the defender picks their deployment zone. Isn't that the way that goes? I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Frankly, it doesn't matter a whole lot. How does work work? I know it's not the most important because it's two discrete die rolls. The important one is for who goes first. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, there's nothing about my board that's going to be surprised about where it's at. So you go, I go, it's not going to be fair. I think you guys should just start deploying. Yeah, let's everybody, just start deploying. Everybody's waiting for you guys Let's just start deploying. <laughs> uh, so think, I'm not putting anything in deep strike. Uh, I have two, I have 
a guard squad in each chimera. I'm not going to bother hiding my characters. Defender picks the Fleming zone. Defender deploys first. Yeah, like... Okay. I am going says, to put some says things says a dude here. on the internet that I don't know who is. So I'll help you rely. I mean, honestly, that's what I remember. So, you know... <laughs> I'm going to spend three CP. Okay. Somebody said that. I'm going to put the smash guns in Alphamite. Cool. Excellent. I guess I'm, that's one turn that hypothetically can't shoot me. Um, it's super exciting, weird. I don't know if it's good or not, but that's what so I'm what? doing. Because with your with your tanks, I'm not going to you're not going to give me an angle of fire on you. Okay, that's true. So like, I, I'm just putting you on here for you to shoot. Okay. Let's see. You know, I could. That's an interesting play, and we'll see how it goes. Yep. Um. All right. So you've got your first plop. There's plop guy. There he is. I need to know where my opponent's zone is. If anybody is going, hey, you can't use strats on grots, it's important to note you cannot use orc strats on grots. So they have added a tool to the grot toolbox. Now they have twice as many strats as they used to. Which they have more than that, they can break out. So really oh, yeah, that's a. So I don't have a tape measure. I'm, I'm like profoundly prepared. Jeez, Vince, you have one either? Yeah, correct. We, we, we played a game of 40K with a sewing tape measure, like our roll of, of measuring tape. <laughs> it was. I should have brought one some. I'd I, I forgotten that. I should have brought some with me home. I thought I had one in my dice bag. It just, I didn't, apparently. So. All right. So. Well, in case there are any questions about which uh, Bolgren are which, um, the ones that either do not have, like, I have a Wolfen and unpainted ones and one that has been chopped in half, those are the guys with the invulse. All right. So, hopefully my, my Bolgren will arrive um, in the coming, like, weeks. I'm almost deployed. Okay. <laughs> Should I just start putting things down? Yeah, and there's okay. gonna be a giant ball of works here. There's no like There's no there's no There's no, nuance there's no artifice, <laughs> no grand strategy. I'm just gonna put both of these guys back here. Um, both of the artillery pieces because um, you know, this is how we live our lives. Um There's a lot of measuring to make sure my all is within nine of the force field. I think that's my majority of my deployment. Okay. Um Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that I, I can buy chimeras now, playing non-deathcore or something, a chimera without an auto cannon stapled to it. Uh, also, for terrain wise, are we just treating this as generic area terrain? Or are we treating both of these guys as forests? I was just thinking they would be uh, touch on green cover, or whatever the like right. yeah. cover, and then we call these ruins with the obstacle breachable, yeah. all that junk. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, this is the same. We're not going to go inside them because yeah, yeah. at least not in that one. Makes sense. Not that that's as big a deal anymore. It's just it's not. It's just inconvenient. It's it's really not. this ruin with my tank commanders because you know that's that's a decision that's a thing we do
initially, just to prevent like tickle shooting from getting them. You know, just the you know the smasher tickles. Are you outflanking all of the smashers? Yep. Okay, sorry. I thought you were only outflanking some of them. Nope. <laughs> okay, that means I can actually be a lot more aggressive with my tanks. Yeah. Cool. So, this is the tank commander that doesn't have the triple sponsons that have yet to be modeled. So, the guy on the flank. Hey Seth, can you go and link this in the uh, Associated War Box as well? So if anybody else is interested in seeing how this goes down. <laughs> what ungodly thing we're about to do. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking one for the team a little bit here. Well, this is a science experiment. Yeah, exactly. God, what a ball of boys. He says yes. Or actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yes, I, bur I do not know. I think the associate, like, the defender, quote-unquote, by placing the first plop, has a technical disadvantage because they're giving away their first, like, they're the, you can't counter-deploy. Like an army like mine? Yeah. Yours doesn't care. Because, Most armies no, don't care. Because I sit in a very, like, this is exactly where I will be. If I go first, the first model I set down probably tells you no, everything yeah, 100%. you No, yeah, 100%. Um, and there are armies right. where if you have a long-range shooting threat, if you have to, like, you want to place that so that it can draw a line of sight or doesn't meet, doesn't get shot on the first turn, the defender has a technical advantage in that, oh, sorry, a disadvantage in that they start proceedings, and so they're placing the first thing down. It mostly doesn't matter I because... Mean, it's one of those, like, yes, technically that's an advantage. Will you realistically see some... Yeah, game? that's... It will ever swing a game? No. No. Correct. Just something like so that's that is an oddity. It's um, it it doesn't feel super meaningful to me, um, which is why I acted with such apathy when we when I successfully won the roll off that didn't matter. Yeah, that's not the roll off that matters. This next one though has been proving. Oh, this one this one is important, and supposedly this is the mission for first hammer. So I'm excited. Oh, is it? This is the most. This is the. Hammer? This is supposedly the one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hammer the first the part of the game. Oh, dude, I'm. Come on, nice roll. Good orky. Yeah, that's got okay. Three? Yeah, I got. Well, yep. I got a four. four. I'll take it. All right. Here we go. First up, center squad. Zoom. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. 
quads next to each other. And your color blindness is fucking with me. It's red and green, too. Yeah. Is that, is that your form of color blindness? Yes, it is. Excellent. <laughs> I have the squads painted in such a way that I put the gray ones next to the red ones, and I put the beige ones uh, across from them, and it all just stuff crap. And I forgot all about it because I'm rusty. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, about the only thing I'll ask is like, where's Mr. Warboss? So, just in that ball, cool. There's gonna be a ball of characters in the middle of all this shit. Yeah, I've got a, a buddy of mine who, uh, Field. who who is colorblind and uh, looked at uh, some somebody's uh, Nurgle models and was like, those are really strangely painted, uh, painted uh, blood ravens. They look they look dirtier than I think they should. And it's like that's because they're green. Yeah, I play orcs and a lot of Nurgle. <laughs> I don't know why. I, 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 like the, I like the look of it. Oh, yeah. It's so difficult they, for me to digest the difference between the red and the green when I see them. So. Hey, it's all about what it says on the paint pot. Yep, I do a lot Just of that. You gotta have people you trust who don't change the labels on your paint pots. <laughs> Next squad. Go on for it. But they are going to be limited to the four seconds. I do not want to take it. Accelerated damage from you this turn. Yeah, so they're not going to use the whole movement up. Yeah, I do not anticipate Cyber that anyone will be playing the open play stuff. That that seems. Well, I mean, I'm sure people will play it, but you know. I've never known anyone to. Correct. Who has? But I guess we're like we're tournament players, right? We, yeah. We have our there's our thing, and I'm sure there's somebody out there who, like, the Crusade stuff. Oh, the Crusade appeals stuff. Appeals to like the yeah. super young version of me who would have been like. Like when I first got into board games, I would have gone a for that. We were playing Necromunda. Oh yeah, player. the Crusade is not balanced, it, but it sounds like it's an RPR's dream, right? Yeah. Well, and it's just like you know, whatever. Somebody gets somebody's better than somebody else. It doesn't matter when that's what you're doing. Um, and just to kind of go through for the stream for any folks kind of trying to figure out what is what, we've got a a wyvern here, a manticore here. Our tank commanders and chimeras. And a big old ball of Bulgren up here. Um, I'm not going to try and interpret Chuck's ball of orcs. It's a ball of orcs. It is, it is a ball of orcs. There's a 30 here. There's now a 30 there's a 30 there. here. There's, there's a 30, 30 there. There's a 30 behind it. And there's a 30 that's going to go around this way and hopefully get jumped and go somewhere. Toss some havoc. Uh, I thought havocs are bad. No. Are they good again? Yeah, they're, they're like all right. Okay. But I don't want to sell them as like, you know, you should get these. They are cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> that that has tempted me to purchase them more than a few times. You should talk about them. Well. Sell those kits. Get that commission or something. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta get my numbers up. See, the dice have not let you down yet. Nope. Boop, look at that. That comes, Winning later. Move. That comes later. So, a uh, totally innocuous question that isn't, uh, like, you know, preclusion to orbital bombardment. How many units are in this ball? Four. Okay. Like, with characters included? Oh, characters, there's five characters and okay. four units. I don't know if that's worth 4 CP. Um, it would be funny. There's only one way to know. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I used that power, I picked up like um, an Astro Pilot or two. Just I, I, have, I love the idea of the Warhammer, War, War, like a story of that. I have never. Oh, I did not advance these guys because I'm not stupid. That's a correct call. <laughs> the jump gets real sad. <laughs> when they show up and it's oh oh but the war boss is over there oh um, okay so what did you put on there um, so I have all right the jump um, plus three that looks ben. like a success to me did not even hurt myself beautiful full green there she's becoming like a pretty you're not you're not within twenty four of my psychers are you uh, I assume not just. So lead psyker is right here. So a little bit further. 
Nope. Nope. Good. Cool. Cool. I would, I would definitely make sure it's not. Yeah, no, 100%. It's just. Uh, let's see. If you move the bulldog up there to deal with them, you allow me to come in. So, yeah, we're going to go over there. So, it, what I'm doing basically is I'm going to put the squad over here on the edge. The computer decides to use the ogre to punish me for this move. This then is the he, correct call. He yeah. moves them out of the way of the horde. And I'm like, great, thanks for opening the gates. Here I come. Yep, yep. And if he doesn't, then these guys can get by you. So I just like so trying to stress that so he's this, one. This placement there. realistically should have been swapped with a chimera, yeah. just as the front edge. So that's, you know, a, 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 fud, a fuddle on my part. A mistake, as it were. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Go for it. I gave you an opening. It's even the pretty one. Oh. See, Chuck? Like Chuck that. is going for those those 10 points. He's going to strategically kill all of my painted kill models. Painted models. <laughs> all my boys are painted. Does that count? Because that used to be my meta, right? You know? It's like... So if, if Chuck sticks this charge, um, it could be messy, um, and it would potentially mean I have to divert firepower away from the center, which is, you know, regardless of how this goes, this is going to be a good thing for Chuck. Yeah, these boys are trying to buy time, buy space and time for the, the horde. Uh, also, I mean, let's put some on this objective. So at this point now, I'm sitting on three. So if you don't do something... If I don't, if I don't decisively yeah. deal with this unit. So I can usually, hopefully, kill this tank, touch that tank, hold this objective. Like, that's a whole lot of value thing. If I can kill these, which is what I don't. Yeah. Correct. Um, shooting? Yeah. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Right, I think I have one. No, it's not even good. It is never range. Bolgren don't happen to be touching that ruin, do they? I'm assuming they're like at seven meter back. Too. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. deliberately not on the ruin because, you know. Alright, so let's control that charge. Do you want to overwatch that thing? You know what? Screw it. I'll spend one CP. I'll fire a flat six shots at you. Alright. Uh, flat six shots and a flat three shots. Um, so we're going to do our six from the main gun. Uh, we get no hits. It's sadness, right? Ah. Uh, Sure, you get charged you right in the CP. Nine, nine, nine shots, no sixes. I get a plus one for Evil Sun, so I just need to show an eight on the dice. I can reroll one or both with my anchor. Here we go. Oh, the uh, Ah, unfortunate. Uh, so they're just standing there. I'm done. Cool. I pick up uh, Direct Assault. Direct Assault. Cool. Or three points, because I, I the, the one set, no one of your opponents don't get the. Cool, cool. All right, so now we're going to move on to my turn. I'm going to need a tape measure. Sorry, I just, that was just horrible. <laughs> Are you need a tape measure? Well, let me move it around on you. All right, let's see what anybody's yeah. got. Any, uh, questions for us, really? So I've got a thing I'm excited to try. With my guardsmen, because of this whole uh, being able to, so... This tank commander is going to back up five inches, like so. Uh, and because of this whole... Yeah, they want you to throw the old room <laughs> Well, oh, no, I'm actually more excited because of this whole hypothetical, like, you can shoot guns and also shoot, uh, throw grenades and shoot guns. Yeah. Um, so I've got nine inches, and that is indeed going to get me six inches. I'm going to advance the squad because I'm Talarn, and I can just do that. I'm on my unit coherency. Are you on yours? Hmm? I, yeah, no, we're all okay. good for you. We're all good. Um, so that gives me an extra inch, which is just going to make sure that absolutely everyone gets within that six-inch bubble um, in order to, uh, you know, actually successfully throw frag grenades at him. Um, you get to spend a DP for a ball. Yeah, throw, everyone throws a frag grenade, and they're blast. And, you know... That should hurt. That's the goal, right? Like... The goal is for it to be a painful experience, or as painful an experience as I can reasonably foist upon you. <laughs> okay, 10 
inches, scoot a little bit. Um, and yep, that guy can be placed there. Okay, so we've got a guard squad who advanced out of this chimera. Um, the chimera is then also going to move itself. Look at that. Like that, like, oh, who could have seen this coming? Um, we're going to take another chimera. Um, this one does have guardsmen in it. And we're gonna yoink like that. Uh, because the de jump has occurred, I'm just gonna shimmy these guys onto this objective. Just a little bit. So that we get our little participation award. Do you remember I didn't hurt myself? You did not. Did not. So I can do it one more time, basically, this game without giving up like a ritual. Correct. But. Um, so the Chimera can drive forward and nab an objective and force you to do a thing. Mm -hmm. Do something about it, Chuck. I dare you. Um, and I smash it. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is, so we've got this here. I am going to gain a CP, too. You should do that as well. Oh, yes. Um, just neutralize, so I'm, I'm still at 10. Here. Here. Just put me at or 10. Because uh, I, start, I started at 10. I spent one for the opportunistic, uh, you know, mm -hmm. dealio, and uh, then I got it back. Uh, actually, no. Did I farm it? Because technically mm -hmm. I have Karab's Aqua and Esoteric Lore. I don't. Cool. So, also let me know whenever you spend a strat, and maybe I will get command points. I feel like you'll know. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to advance my company commander. Eight inches. Sorry, platoon commander. He's the platoon commander. Um, so he's going to go that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later, right? He's he's within three inches of a chimera, so... Oh, I see. <laughs> like, it's more like, I can, do I do I move, move, move him up here to then throw an order on here? That's going to cost me a CP to give him to double, get him to mm -hmm. double order to get them to first rank fire, second rank fire as well. That feels like I want to demonstrate that level of firepower out of a single guard squad once it, in my it, life. Is it worth, it, you were talking about 20 strength, three shots, 10 hits. Uh, it would be so. Well, it, it's not twenty. Uh, it would be well. It would be hits. Twenty hits. Roughly. Well, you're adding twenty more shots. They're going to get the twenty shots. They're going to get the twenty shots, and then they're also going to get sixty grenade hits. Shots. What I'm saying is the move, the first rank, second rank, is adding maybe two to three dead orcs. Is that what this is? Yes. All right. In this in this <laughs> grand calculus of overwhelming the firepower, yes. uh, and we're going to move the. Yeah, we're gonna move these guys forward. I'm gonna move forward my six. Mm -hmm. So we've got our lead guy poking his head out, putting these guys on the first floor functionally. I can't be inside the floor. What a tragedy. Um, all right, and then we're gonna put these guys over here. Um, I'm going to move the Inquisitor forward a little bit, um, as well as the these the Astropaths, um, and we're going to take the Priest and we're going to advance the Priest. Priest realistically should have been in that ball this entire time. He was not. So that's eight inches. You want water? Uh, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, and then we are going to drive our Lehman Russes our five inches forward, touch a ruin. Um, we're going to take this guard squad and advance them. Cool. And they are going to move out just a bit to project force out here and uh, keep orcs off of my butt. I feel like project, either they are not projecting force. They're projecting farce, sir. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and then we're going to see about... So I have a strat that can apply to either of these guys where if they can see the target they shoot, they can get plus one to hit. That mm -hmm. sounds like a really funny thing on a wyvern, but I don't know if there's realistically any way for me oh, yeah. to maneuver him 
to Not on see. This side. Can you get up behind that tank and then see? So that's that would require the Manticore moving, which you can totally do because yeah. the Manticore can now utilize all of its movement. Um, and this guy can drive up here. And then because of your elevated size, maybe can you see? I can see. I can see the lead unit. Uh, I'm gonna try and draw a line. Hold on. Through. I, I so I, yeah I, I can draw a bead through the with, center line. With that line, I think you can hit any one of the three squads you want to. So there's yeah cool. So basically, there's a squad here, a squad, squad here, there. and there's one that goes around the back and off the side. Cool cool. All right, so um, that sounds like it's going to be it for my movement. Uh, we're going to go on to shooting, um, and we're going to begin with orders. So um, this guy is going to order himself to reroll ones. Because he's kind of already out there, like, butt flapping in the wind, metaphorically. Um, these two are going to order themselves for the shoot and scoot. Um, and then we're going to use our last um, order available. Um, so I'm at 10. I'm potentially going to blow through a decent chunk of CP this turn. Yeah, it's worth making this decisive. We're going to spend an extra CP to give this guy another order. So he's going to move, move, move himself. He's going to go real fucking quick. Um, he's going to get himself up within six inches. Then with the CP, he's going to give himself first rank fire, second rank fire. So, cool. So, sorry, those guys, the infantry squad that's going to do fun things to those orcs. To see how many first rank fire, second rank fire. Do you have a dice rolling app, sir? I think that might be oh. more, that may be far more prudent. Why, how did you guess that some of the 120 boys had a dice rolling app? <laughs> it's been a while. Yes. So we might have to fumble this a little bit. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it will be quicker than me taking out the requisite number of dice and rolling them by. So what do you need? So first things first, we're going to need our 60 grenade shots. So that seems pretty good. Yeah, it does seem pretty good. Three, four, five, 60 grenade shots. All right, so hit Press it on... Button. This one? Yep. Hitting on fours. I like how I just jiggle the hell out of them. Alright, cool. And then we'll need on fives. Oh, that's also a CP, by the way, to do that. Okay. So do I farm that? I don't. Okay. Three, six, eight. So that takes me down to uh, eight CP in total. Uh, and now with the first rank fire, second rank fire, that is going to be 36 shots, uh, just including the sergeant, because he's a, a, a chunk who doesn't take a LAS gun. But he will fire a LAS pistol separately. <clears throat> well, the first rank second rank, right? Um, it doesn't apply to LAS pistols, I believe. Right, just like. But that's four but, shots a guy. Well, yes, but the sergeant doesn't have a LAS gun, he has Go. a LAS pistol. Gotcha. Um, Don't so, call it. Do I just tap this? Yep, you tap that. No, don't hold the tap. Um, and then roll okay. again. And then tap the five. And then, so there's five. Okay. Uh, and then last gun. Hey, it hit. Sorry, last pistol. Um, and wounds, even. The pistol? Yep. Have a dice. You know, that's a that's probably the best output I've realistically seen a single squad of guardsmen do to a boy unit. Yeah, that's, um, let's, let's see how many you get. Uh, Chimera. You got 14 boys with that. Um, Chimera uh, is going to flamer you. You're within 8 inches. So I've got two heavy flamers. Uh, I did advance the Chimera, but I have to alarm. So. Okay, that's 9 shots. That seems like a pretty good deal. I already have 9 dice here. How convenient. It's going to be AP1, right? Uh, these are indeed going to be AP1. Six. Okay. Um, okay. Is this all right? I don't know. What? I don't know. So it's also worth noting for the stream, just because of tackling hordes, hordes got a really big hit in terms of the people's ability to do damage to them. However, in the old edition, uh, this orc boy unit would be... I would leave them alone at this point, almost, like, to force Chuck to either spend more on CP, to refund them, recycle them, do whatever. This orc unit is going to stick around unless I finish it. Well, it's worth five victory points, unless you kill it for the man. Yep. 
Oh, actually, Dave, yeah, because I'm on two already, yep. and you're on two. So if they stick around, I'm on more than you. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so now we're going to move on to the remaining stuff. Um, I am going to go over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the wyvern, we're going to spend one CP. Do I farm it? This is going to take me down to seven. No? Cool. Um, and... Because, again, this is this is the turn I really need to do damage. So I could spend two more to allow him to reroll all his hits, and I think that's probably worth it. Uh, basically, we're going to chunk... Uh, we're going to leave the front unit alone. Mm -hmm. We're just going to see if we can beat them, up, uh, beat them the hell up in melee. We're going to take... Actually, no, I'm on this objective. Are there any other units on this objective up front? The, um, both the gray one and the middle one here. Okay. This one is not. It's a little um, we will go for the gray unit, actually. Okay. We will go for the gray unit. Um, so, that is going to be 24 shots. Um, and we're going to see. I'm knock me down potentially two. Yep, two more. Down to five. Uh, and we're going to... There's a reason why. I'm not going to orbital bombardment. Um, yeah. is, it, is that three? Four. Four CP? Yeah. Yeah. You'd just be done. I would be done. And it's very likely that it does mineral damage. Um, or at very least, not four CP's worth of damage. So you are hitting on threes because of your strat? Correct. And you won't do it. Yes. Okay. So, um, and then this damage is wise, is strength four rerolling? Uh, damage four, strength four rerolling. Right. So, 24 shots um, going into that unit. Um, yep, here we go. That's my one. Here we go. Here we go. So, that would have been an amazing hit, like, amazing hit roll to begin with. We're going to convert that to 22 hits total. Um, and I don't know how much the folks on camera can see. We're going to um, just take out our fours. Pretty fine. That's a pretty darn average result. But then we're going to take it and we're going to do it again. And that wyvern is going to inflict. So six, 12, 15 wounds. I just have 15 dice right here in my hand. Beautiful. Five up in bone saves. Good old force field. And one damage each? Yes, sir. Six up field on pain. There's one more. I use eight. Eight. Very good. And this is, you said you wanted to do the gray unit? Yes. Um, next up, this chimera is going to heavy flamer you up front, also into gray squad. So, 2d6, heavy flamer shots. That is six shots. Um, three. All right, that's four saves on Gray Squad from this heavy flamer. Heavy flamer and chimera. No big bones. One field of pain. Three more. Yeah. It's actually really with the wall. To be sort of careful. Yeah, absolutely. For emergency reasons. It's kind of hard to see. Um, next up, going down. we're going to. We're going to take this tank commander and have him pump his shots into this work boy unit right here. All right. Um, we're just going to go for it. Um, I mean, the effect probably will be. <laughs> so we've got 12 shots coming at you. So I'm hitting on threes, three rolling ones. Pretty cool. That's a miss. Nice. Really nice conversion overall. Tank commanders, as always, pretty darn good. Uh, twos. That's just going to be um, 10 dead orc points. Uh, and then we'll do it. Well, if, do you have, oh, you have feeling no pains? No. Okay. It's, just, it's D3. Just four, six, yeah, eight. minus minus two. All right, um, so roll multiple. Hmm? Oh. You got it. Okay. So 10. And then the heavy bolter is going to. Heavy bolter is uh, kicking in for a little bit of extra fun. Two hits. Uh -huh. That is one save at minus one. Uh, an absolutely tantalizing and annoying result. Here we um, are at the best five CP in the game. 
Can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> I um, spend two CP, I get five points, I spend another three CP, and I get 30 points. Yep. Or you kill that guy. Or, or I kill <laughs> Um We're going to see how that goes. Um, Give him the mana core. <laughs> realistically, uh, a single heavy bolter just like. Yeah, you might as well try that bolter just yeah. turns and pop, 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 pop. See if I can pick him up. Um, so, we're going to take uh, this tank commander, uh, and we're going to do exactly that. He is going to put um, all of his, his main gun into uh, this gray squad, yep. and then he's going to put one of his spots and heavy bolters into that lone orc out here, all other heavy bolters going over here. So, uh, let's start with the fun one, right? All right, so that's going to be uh, one hit. Three up. Three up. That's there you it. Go. Got it. Okay. All right. So uh, now we're gonna fire twelve shots into those orc boys. I probably could have spent CP in order to requisition the tanks to get them to reroll ones, but I forgot about that. We're gonna move on. Um, we're gonna roll a lot of misses. I like it. Um, all right. So these are gonna uh, one, two, one, twos. Oh, you know, decent conversion. So those four or five up saves. Okay, so... Multi damage? Uh, so I've got three, two, and two. Dead. 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 Cool. Uh, and then the heavy bolters... Uh, next time, don't roll the damage. Oh. I just roll three, and if I get any sixes, then we'll roll the D3s on that. Makes sense. Easy peasy. Yeah. Uh, and then the heavy bolters are chiming in. we got six heavy bolter shots going in. Um, better accuracy than the main gun, that's for sure. Uh, that's two saves. But how's that orc boy unit feeling? It's down fifteen. There's fifteen left. Fifteen left. So seventy-five percent killing capability. Um, we're gonna drop the manticore into them. Right. So twelve shots. All right, here we go. Uh, hitting on fours. That's a really good roll. I'm happy with that. Uh, twos. That's less impressive, but you know what? Five. Five saves at minus two. Multiple damage? Uh, D3s. Yeah. So Only a D3. It's a one. All right. All right. I lost three. Uh, so for what it's worth, for you know the point, the, the folks keeping score at home, that was a magic war firing 12 shots, killing three orcs. <laughs> and I rolled pretty well. Um, so, there are obviously things that hurt hordes, but don't doubt their ability to just also continue to exist. I am um, very. So, do we still have Gray Squad exposed to this tank commander? Oh, yeah, no, I'm not taking the, the front guy is the knob. Oh, okay. Go to cool. town. Uh, so, next tank commander. Oh, so this guy needs to scoot back, sorry. Yeah. Um, he used his order, he needs to actually use it. So, it's very interesting. Yoink, it's back on. Complicated to manage the, the, the large squad coherency. While dealing with the fact that somewhere on either side of a wall over here, yeah. thankfully I'm jammed up. If the unit was like trying to spread out, um, okay. It'd be so much worse, I, think. I got twelve battle cannon shots from the next rust, and then um, I have my uh, sweet, sweet um, nine heavy bolter shots. All right, so we've got um, pretty good hits, pretty good wounds. That's six saves. Sir. Okay. Yep. And then I'm just going to add three dice here. We're going to fire our nine heavy bolter shots. All right. That's a really good hit roll. And that's a pretty darn good wound. Eh, that's an okay wound roll. Uh, four. Four saves. Two. Okay. Um, and that is, uh, he's going to scoot his five inches back, uh, like so. Um, oh, I completely skipped my psychic phase. That's, that's on me. I'm, I'm so used to not doing that. Like, Imperial Guard, I never play with psychers. Oh, right. Um, well, did you need to interrogate? I think um, I'm too far away. I, I wouldn't have gone for interrogation. It would have been, uh, Psychic Barrier and Night Shroud. Um, again, I, may, I screwed that up, so that's on me. 
Um, do I just try and crump some boys? If you don't, they just need to do you first. If you've already committed, and you can. Mm -hmm. You can not. Well, I guess worst case is it also just gives me space. The question is, do you want to touch all of them? They can't control. fall back and charge, correct? Correct. I, and and you, you say that, and I immediately realize that's a mistake on my part. The evil sense of warlord trait is fall back and charge, and the way I've seen the ninth work so far. It's that is, really important. That is much better than brutal cunning. Yeah, and that's something I consider so. when writing this list, because Talarn has a fall back and charge aura warlord yeah. trait, and that can allow you... It's not as brutally important as it is on, say, orcs, yeah. but the ability to cycle in and out... Yeah. And potentially well, tag people and yeah, let's say I'm tagging two of your units. I can pull out, charge back in, tag five. That makes a massive difference in the game. Hundred um, percent. So yeah, we're gonna go for the charge. Yep. There's no reason not to at this point. Okay. It's, I am not gonna overwatch. I'm probably gonna end up out of um, priest range, but we'll okay. see. We'll so see let's what just I can talk about. So here's the gray squad. There okay. are six of them left. Uh, I am not going to charge gray squad. Okay. Uh, purely because that's going to potentially make my charge harder, uh, not by a ton. And there's so this looks squad. like a four inch charge to me. Ooh, oh, sorry. Lots of people watching. Red squad all the way through here. And there's this squad way back here, which I think is... I'm not so going to bother them. So you can um, come up here. You just have to stay out of range of him. Correct. So you have all this space to fight. Yeah. Okay. Like, um... All right, so, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna go for that charge. Oh. Oh, you just make charges? Yeah, that's, just... I guess I, that's fine. I mean, I, li <laughs> listen. Uh, listen. Your orc boys, there, they knew what was coming for them, right? Oh. So Chuck, while I move these guys up into a uh, charge, you can like summarize like roughly how much damage all those terrifying well, yeah. last weapons did for everyone. Um, like, well, I've lost what thirty and twenty-four, so fifty-four boys in one turn. Yeah. Okay. I to me that's normal for gunline round yeah. one. How many smash guns are still alive though? I have I put no smash. All the smash guns are in reserve. Oh, okay. His Talarn tank commanders are the targets. And they have the move scoot. Yep. So there's no way that I catch them with my three inches of movement versus his ability to handle this board. So I'll bring in from reserves and punk them. Okay, so I got half inch here. And do I have a six inch? I do! I'm going to enjoy all my attacks. All that right. sounds like a great time. Oh, because you get the plus one across the board? Uh, it's uh, astro plus one for astro military infantry, so my boys are they're angrier. They're but angrier. Um, so I've and got, because basically, I've got one unit that's almost dead. And you're punching the unit that's in the center. So I'm going to, theoretically, I'll have basically two units on my next turn. Um, basically. The I goal, the reason I was like, I'm going to leave these guys alone is my goal is less to force a kill here and more to force you. Like, it's going to be really hard for me to prevent you from bringing back one squad. Yep. But it's going to be, I will force you to make that decision, right? If I, if I leave you one beat up squad, it's an easy choice to make. Yep. If I leave you two, I kind of fork you. Yeah. You're going to do what you were always going to do, but yep. there's now something because challenging. Yep. Um, so, I need to find out exactly how many attacks Bulgrin have, because I don't know. Do you know how many they have? I, no. I'd guess three. In my world, they're just some sort of mythical creature. All I hear is the stories of people getting wrecked by them. Oh, Lord. See what chat's got for us. Lord! Yeah, chat, save us. Prevent me from having to slowly look this up on Battlescribe. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. Because I know they have a plus one when they charge. I think. I'm like 90%. Okay, Battlescribe, flip the hell out. Apparently the GD... The GWPDF does say um, you can fire a grenade or fire any weapon. Or? Yeah. Okay, so we cheated. I'm sorry. That's fine. You, I mean, it would have, you would have killed that unit either way. I was lied to. The people here lied to me. Um, okay. So I have three attacks base. And then at plus one for charging, and then plus one for the priest. So five. So, that's a lot. So, so far, just to catch people up in the game, I have moved my orc for forward. I jumped a squad over to his flank, uh, failed the charge, failed the reroll. Um, 
He focuses fire in on those 30 because they're not in the force field and they're in a bad spot for him. Uh, they're all dead and he's done 24 damage, 24 dead guys out of another squad. And his bull are about to charge and, and uh, punch into another squad of 30. If I don't, if I don't like beat them the hell up or kill them right here, um, it's going to be interesting. This should put me in a severely dis- uh, diminished state as far as like actual army. Uh, but then my 15 smash guns are going to come on and hopefully remove at least two tank commanders. Yeah, the more that... Or maybe the Wyvern. I think he's actually target party one. Yeah, Wyvern, the Wyvern has the highest damage output against you by far. Um, the, 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 the game for Chuck is going to be maintaining board presence, and I, Chuck can totally still do that. Like, if he... If an orc unit comes on here, like the more and he, he swings out over here, the more he focuses forces me to split my focus, the more he can dominate on primary and just bleed me across. Yes. I think, I mean, to win this right. game, Six, my smash guns threes. have to come in and not try to preserve themselves. They're here to preserve the boys. Correct. So I'm going to be shooting at things that are efficient against boys, and then I just need to keep holding on. But I think you have to kill the smash guns, which also helps preserve the boys. So, like, great. All right, and then threes again. Okay, so that is 15 seconds. Uh, and here comes a very special moment in every orc player's life. This is the first time I'm going to roll in vulnerable saves from a custom force field. Okay, so we're on now. Yeah. Thanks, Psychic Awakening. And they do multiple damage? Two. All right, sixes and then four sixes. None, predictably, five, ten, twelve, twelve dead boys. Bonk. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I keep. Got a nice currency chain back there. Can pull anybody who can't fight. It was 12. 12, 12 total slain. Why I got eight now. Two back to one performance. There's the taking is just. Okay. Well, Chuck resolves that and moves on to his turn. Uh, I'll take a look at chat. Please, I would like to fight you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nugget Knight. Uh, Nugati Knight. Um, that was the same conclusion I came to when I read their rules. Thank you. Um, Which ones? I didn't come around fast enough. For, to see you before I check my rules though. Oh, just talking about the Bulgren. So, he's just, he, you know, letting me know because I don't know my rules because I, being a Deathcore player, don't normally play with Bulgren, even though I probably should. Yeah, Thomas, um, the custom force field did a little bit. Honestly, it was just that, um, you know, three ups, threes into threes, uh, cuts me down in terms of the number of in terms of my damage output pretty quick. Yeah, it's basically still it, guard shooting, you take you, you large take numbers the trick. You take forty five and you you uh, you reduce it by a third three times, right? Yeah. Which honestly, the end result is probably in the ballpark of twelve. Congrat! Yeah, Bulgrins are certified pretty good. Yes, they are. That's good. My my squad's pretty good. So I mean, well, I just cheated a whole bunch to fix this. Oh, uh, Dendarian, just to give you a recap, I don't know when you jumped in and, and said uh, that. I did it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's going to be 13 boys swinging at you. I'm going to start holding this off. Uh, it's three base. Um, how many did you kill? Uh, so I chunked 12 out of that unit. Woo! He's three base and he has two kill saws. And yeah, yeah. he's minus one to hit, plus one to hit from the banner. Cool. That's, we're starting with kill saw, man? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one. One. AP4. AP4. Um, so it would, it, I would have a six up save if I took it on a uh, dude. How much damage does it do? Two. Two. And once you start taking it on him, 
Uh, well, then he starts. Then he starts taking it on everything else. But realistically, I want to. I want to tank as many hits onto. Um, we're gonna take it on a four up and guy, and we're just gonna let let him die afterwards. Um, because that feels like a reasonable thing. Um, so four up. So we're gonna roll off the table, and we're gonna pass. All right. So I now have a two with uh, successfully rolled three up. Uh, sorry, four up armor save. We're gonna say it's this guy. Um, and, uh, yeah, incoming orc boy attacks. 69 attacks. attack attacks. Oh, yeah, that's an excellent number. Hitting on twos. Sweet. You T5? T5. All right, five. Like, Bullgren are basically just custodians that never learned how to read. 20. All right, 20. So, uh, I'm going to roll these three at a time until he dies. Okay, I'm going to roll them now one at a time. Cool. One more. Cool. All right, so he dies and absorbs five attacks. Doing so, um, we're now going to roll 15 more saves on two ups. All right. And I'm going to lose one and a third more Bulgrin. So we're going to take this guy out and put this guy on one wound. Cool. That's uh, two Bulgrin down, sir. Right, we did it. We're on our way. Um, morale, you are. They're f everyone's fine, right? They're. I'm not sure I'm on morale yet. Okay. Let me just do math. Oh, you want to fight again? Yeah, two more bullets down. Seems like. Yep, we're gonna do it. Cool. Um, back to kill saw guy because we're on the appropriate. Okay. Look at him go. Mm. Nope, can't afford any more to be. Uh, three AP4s. Three AP4s? Uh, well, one at a time. He's dead. Meow. Uh, and then uh, I'll just roll two at a time for the four ups because if I fail both, he dies. Uh, I fail one, so we've got a, a guy on one wound over here. Um, and now, uh, rest of your boys. So, twos. And fives. Oh, I forgot that I had a bonehead in that unit. Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, so four ups, uh, one at a time. Okay. Sixteen now. Sixteen saves. Yeah, like, imagine the full box and charge scenario here. Brutal. Yeah. Absolutely brutal. Good learning. All right. Uh, Sixteen, two up saves. I fail one. All right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a wound on this guy. So leadership eight on the Bulgren Bonehead, uh, and I have lost four guys. Um, I'm going to spend one CP. Do I farm it? I do not. Uh, and I'm going to roll a D3 instead. And so I auto pass that as a result, because that would be very scary if I um, lost one more and then had guys run away on one of the twos. I've already had that bite me. Yep. Once already. Um, you kill 24. They are leadership 30 by the nearby squad. They don't care. Obviously, the one that would be left damage doesn't care. Anymore. So, that's what it is. Points. 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 Uh, what did you do? I killed Orc Boys. You thin the ranks. We're just going to count that when we're done. Bring it down. Uh, bring it down. It hasn't come into play yet. And no interrogation. So, quick points. Turn two. I get 10 points for the primary. Oh, I also got direct assault. Oh, no. Great. Yeah. So we, we kick over to the primary now. Yep. Um, and you are going to pick up 10 five, points. Ten. Yep. Um, yeah. And then let's see if I can keep you to five. It's really interesting. You're going to get to fight first here. Another reason that the fallback and charge would work well. Even yeah. if I decided I just wanted to reinvest here. Falling back and charging you again would would re up my initiative. 
100%. Mm, so much better. So I think realistically, like reevaluating how the points I spent, uh, I probably should have, instead of buying Inquisitor, I should have bought a Calexus Assassin, because a Calexus Assassin in there is like, ugh. It also means you don't have any psychers, because the, um, the, the, oh, oh, yeah, the witch that's right. is really good against like some armies. Yeah. I mean, it also hurts me, right? Huh. It hurts me. I'd have to really be careful with how I played my Bulgren, because if I had a Calexus in the middle of the Bulgren, I'd want to cast powers on the Bulgren, right? So the, the, yeah, the yeah. Astropaths have to be like really far away, waving at them, being like, right. all right, 18 inches from the back guy, and the Calexus yeah, is in the middle. Yeah, you have to work. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I got some serious thinking here, guys. Well, check out that thinking. I'm going to get a, a beverage. I think I want to leave combat with the Bulgarian and let another squad cycle in. Cycle in, and do, and, or, or the Warboss cycle in and, and kill them off. Or do you have to spend CP now to potentially uh, re up that gray unit? Into the movement phase is what Into I, the movement I phase. do. That. And I, okay. I think that definitely has to happen as well. So if I do that, that means I'm going to bring. Basically, here's the idea. I bring, I pull these guys out. They don't do anything for the turn. The six man disappears, and I try to do that again. Oh, actually, I could to jump them out, and then they can charge from there. Oh, the boys? Look at me. Uh, and this squad here can charge in mostly on the Bulgrin. Small tail. Objective secure this. Tap that ring. Tap, tap that that, right that chimera. Yeah. I think that's the right set of plays. Gets me some boys back, and then the smash guns are going to come in. Target part of the crap out of that wyvern, and then just I don't know, kill whatever. Um, that so does if they really want the, if they want the wyvern, they got to be like here, right? Yeah, they have forty inch range. Yeah, there's no way I'm hiding from them. Yeah, no. um, I could maybe theoretically. Yeah. Right. Okay, I feel like that's the plan. So we're going to stay in combat, sort of. Um, I'm just going to move these guys out of the way so that they're not confusing the rest of my movement phase. Yeah, in case he was confused, just to check. Search with the soul. And then I'm going to advance these boys here. Right? Yeah. Look at them go. Woo! Uh, that's 11, 12, 13. And I'm going to step away while I open this. It's not under that. Psyker, right there? I've got several of them, three of them, in fact. Closest one? Closest one is Astropath, okay. right there. Just declared intent outside of, outside yeah. of 24. So, I mean, he's going to be the one that goes over here, that's it. Gotcha. Oh, so that guy is going towards for Psychic Ritual? No, oh, I, I, I have to do the jump again or I'll lose too much momentum on you. Um, so I'm going to risk the Psychic Ritual, which is probably actually... I don't like Psychic Ritual as a, uh, bad, as yeah. a, as a uh, secondary. I think it's I do, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna not risk it. I'm gonna go into this fight with you. I mean, if you deny me once, I lose it. That's where it's hard. And I have to be within six of the center. There's no way to get out of your range. Yeah, I'm just never mind. Change my mind again. Boom. <laughs> uh, cup game or characters? Where are they? Nobody knows. Uh, okay. Um, I'll start with the these guys. No, I'll start with the boys. I would like more boys. Um, 
oh, my name is coming out of the box. So I'm going to put it back in the box. How'd it get out of the box? I don't know. <laughs> I thought the box was foolproof. I'm thinking outside the box, at least with my name. You're naming outside the, the box. That's the name that Colin gave it. I'm apparently a commissar now. If I try super hard, I can make it so that I can't shoot the manticore. But I have to try pretty <laughs> you hard. You have to try. <laughs> Which, I mean, if I put the boys here, they use up that much space. <laughs> yeah. If I bring them in over there, I almost can't, right? Because you've got... Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my best to keep this you is, off of this flank. This is where I gotta go. I, I'm, I'm um, giving you this is the Thunderdome landing zone. This is important. I, I think that that is probably a, a dimension that I'm not allowed to, because I threw yeah. it in six. I'm probably not able to be on that. So that's that's good. That's what the jump is for, right? Well, it's, it's what making the charge is for. That's also true. <laughs> Guardsman, why are you falling down? This is not the time for that. Oh, they, oh, hey! I was using that. <laughs> oh. Grab my nine inch line. Oh, sorry, <laughs> my bad. I was like, I'll get my dice out of the way and ruin Chuck's day. It's great. Ah. Oh. Chuck, I've got um, special deathcore folder coming uh, that have gas masks and there are no shovels and oh, so they fit in. Oh, they're gonna be so nice. Is that a third party thing or third party thing? It's called Mordian. Okay. The dude made a really cool tank and then disappeared from the internet for a few years and then came back as like a blessing from the from mm -hmm. the emperor himself. He, he rewarded your faith. Mm-hmm. Very orderly, orderly block of orc boys. That's the weirdest thing about uh, Green Tide. Is they always come back regimented. I mean, it's it's the it's the revenge of fantasy, right? <laughs> it's probably what it is. is very quiet now given that you guys can kind of see it it's a beautiful day outside so in the interest of uh, moving discussion towards the most important thing the weather how's everyone's weather <laughs> we've got stuff to talk about while chuck places smash the guns see if you had put all the smash guns on the table i would have orbital struck them oh yeah they would all be slightly injured and i'd be so mad that. It'd all be within <laughs> space. You'd have to track the individual wounds on each one. I had a death drug vehicle blow up yesterday. Seth, Seth, which southern state are you in? I, I understand it's hot there, but like... Like, what well, kind of hot? Like, <laughs> I, like, southern humid heat is like... You know, it's like a swamp that you can breathe. It's Alabama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I would actually die if I was anywhere near there. My dog just ate two mega knobs and a handful of grots. Ugh. So, when are you getting a new puppy? <laughs> uh, no, Sean. Um, no, Sean. They are not drink coasters. They are little miniature. Um, oh, I cut them out of mats. cardboard. Yeah. Don't even think I used to the fancy oh. drink coasters. <laughs> we needed to make sure they were the correct size um, for what they actually are. Yeah, they are. Um, and, um, actually, let's, let's show that to kind of. So, here's. This is. Uh, mech gun. Where is it? Up here. This is a mech gun with five grots on their bases. On the, I guess, I you are holding it. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're holding it up there. Yeah. 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 And so this is the space that they take up. Uh, this is technically not in my favor yeah. because they would take up a little less space and that's what you want. But 
uh, as far as you know, having a good time playing over the course of the weekend, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, and I've checked with all my local studios, and they're all like, "Yeah, that's fine." So. Um, and for NJ Forty K Dad, uh, this is uh, forty four by sixty. Uh, the the mat itself, the original mat, was six by four, but you can see the outline of the tape um, on the the left hand edge there. All right, we're gonna try to jump in. To jump in. This part's to jump in. I don't know how many puzzles I have. And just so. just for clarification's sake, um, you put yourself so that you're outside of twenty four. Yeah, drop right. Okay, yeah. I, you you flopped back and forth, so I wasn't sure what our final. I was all over the place there. I'm in my, my last moments. Oh no, they they're leaving. What what cowards? No, they're charging. Is there guys in here? Uh, yes, there are ten guardsmen in there. Oh, that's exciting. I know. We found some guardsmen, boys. They've got the squishy insides. That's something we can punch. Or go to another like the building here. Trying to jump back inside the force field and the charge range just to join back in this bulger pile. No. Uh. What's so the range on casting to jump? Ooh, I think it's 12. Okay. Uh, NJ, the 40k dad, thought it was 3 inches. I, regardless, that's, that's he could time. be yeah, <laughs> he could be whatever range he needed to be, and that's okay with me. Um, we can make sure that we correct for the record, so to speak, after the fact. Um, Thirty-seven viewers. It just keeps climbing. There you go. You're so popular. So, uh, you know the uh, the sass answer is because you went you went first. You're clearly going to win. Yeah. We'll see. I actually think that might very well be true because we've gotten that round of shooting. And and then I moved up to... and then shot me again. I'd be in a much worse spot. And then I don't know if I'd be able to get over the boulder and speed bump. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, you already took the hit for turn one, not having a lot of um, primaries. All right, I'm going to. I did psychics. I didn't hurt myself again. I don't know what's going on over here. I'm going to shoot a lot of things at you. Do you have any like shenanigans you need to get started with? Um. Well, it really depends on where the shooting starts. I mean, I'll probably take cover on the Volgren. Oh, well, there's a smash gun. Going into a river. Nothing I can do. Alright, here we go. Fire away. Two, Two shots. shots. One hit. T6. You're good. One move. Straight in. Four. Four? Down to six. Alright. This is why smash guns are good. Smash some more. One. Hits. Gets in. Yep. Does one. One? Alright. Smash it again. Down to five. Three shots. Two. One, two. Little go in. Seven. Seven. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. Oh no, the first Imperial Guard vehicle has fallen. Over here. Is this full? Uh, yep. All the, like, so I disembarked from here. They can only shoot these two. I actually think this does almost as much damage. What? With the flamers? Yeah. 12 shots versus 2d6 shots? Versus 12 shots? Well, like, no, flamers are not blast. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. No, I actually, like, otherwise, yes, you would be correct. Roughly. Yeah. So we're going to um, do, let's just start on this one, going at that, Russ. That you can't see? I can't see? No. Oh, so you're right. All right, so you should be camera. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no, you can see camera. That's fine. No, it's the I'm looking at who can see next. Actual model placement. Oh, 
No, not the actual models. So these two both can't see, because that skull is actually completely blocking off. <laughs> Thank you, dinosaur. All right, so we'll just start on the Chimera and see where we Giant T-Rex died for a good cause. One. One hit. Wounds. Six times. Uh, so uh, the... Six to the... Yep. Ouch. Next one that can see him. Two shots. One hit. Wounds. Two times. Two times. Two wounds left. I don't think we care. Into the big guy. Finish it. I mean, this thing, like, it has heavy flames. Yeah. My, my, my hope is I engage it. And but if I don't engage it, well, I won't. I just engage it. Is it really flaming in combat? I'm going to shoot it. Boom. No. I'll wait. And see. So, this one will go to the big tank. Okay. Yeah, if I get lucky here, I might as well. Not over there. Okay. You can see down this way. Just Chimera or Big Tank. Okay. Um, this one here will just try to finish that Chimera. Okay. Two more tries. Nope. 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 Yes. Six. Okay. Big boom. Yep. So, Guardsmen are going to get up. Get your gods when I out, boys. And I'm going to save this one for now. Over here. This one here is going to smash this guy. Oh. Oh, no. Three times. Ooh. Get another try. Nope. One. I want two guards one over here. Oh. <laughs> so that thing, has, that thing has ten wounds. I trust you to just, you know, yep. count properly and... I, I mean, I don't, but I, I appreciate your. <laughs> this one's definitely shooting him. One time. One hit. Then, does another one. I really want the guys inside there. Do this. Is that the correct number? That is indeed the correct number. Three times. Three times. One hit. Get ten. Two. Oh gods, I'm down to four wounds. Next guy. One. Miss. One. Hit this. He's in. Two more. All right. How many? Down to two. Last guy. One, two. Got All right, so, big boom. Come on. You know, you want to... Um, no. Are right, you gonna, making me get all my guards in that, Chuck? Yeah, they're squishy. I got one more smash gun. He's not in a great position, so he's just going to fire into this last camera. To start up for the future. He gets one hit. Wounds and does five damage. You said they have ten? Sorry, what was that? Cameron's got ten wounds? Oh, uh, yes. Alright, I'll put a five on it for you. Cool, thank you. And I'm all done smashing. Thank you, thank you. I, I don't know, I really like the about fucking smash guns. No, that's actually, that works really well. I'm now considering the, the possibilities about flanking other dumb stuff. Um, so we're just gonna tow in. Just be far away. As far away as it's reasonable. I'm really sad about this uh, current charge rules all of a sudden. Yeah. So get away from these bullgrain. But if you declare those guys, it's still a failable I'm charge. Just over five here. So, I mean, it's, it's still the right choice because it's such a short distance, but like. It sure would be nice to know when I'm just for sure done. So, honestly, what I would do is I would. I like just go touch them. Shut them down. Think, so think about it this way. Um, ooh, you're off of this objective. I'm not going to be. Okay, you're gonna. Okay, so if you if you get onto this objective, then that means you have that one. You have that one. 
I have this one. We can vote. We both contest that one. You don't like as long well, as that orc boy if I at the end. One more orc boy on here. You can you hold mine. it. And you have um, one. Correct. But if you also don't de- if you don't declare them, you can prevent me from holding it, and still works very good. And Basically, you will you can ruin my day. I think the way to say it is this: I'm going to do that charge, this charge, and then this one. Because if these two risky charges work out, then I'm fine to risk this. Yep. If they don't, I don't want to have already failed this and then have those cascade yeah. on. If you can successfully hold three objectives here, uh, it's not worth you yeah. putting yourself in a position for that to fail just to hold a fourth objective when the reality of the situation is I'm scoring five points next turn. Yeah. And, I, and I've, I've gotten rid of the wyvern, and I've gotten rid of a lot of things blocking the tanks, and you have to deal with these. Like, I, I, have, I have momentum, don't want to risk it. Yep. So we'll start with those guys. Into those 10 guardsmen. I'm guessing you don't want to CP them. No. Do not care. Not Did even. It. Nice. Goodbye, guardsmen. Nine tinges. Oh. Hello. Hello. Have you heard about Wa? No. <laughs> Let us share, you the, share the word of Wa with you. So there's rank one. Two. This is another thing that actually is going to really uh, kind of hurt these mobs already. One of the things that I that saw people, lots of people talk about is like how many attacks you can get out of 30 boys. You never get that many of attacks because you can't actually get them all into a thing. That is even harder now. Gotcha. Also, hello, Katie and Ranger. Um, it, I, I believe it's pretty late at night in Germany, so thank you for tuning in. All right, much appreciated. And then I would also like to just, you know, tail back and have points. We've got that one. I'm going to charge out of this building. Oh, God. Back into the bull green. I did it. Nice. Yeah, we'll keep fighting the good fight, but this one looks like it's closing in on me. Oh yeah, yeah. How determining like. Should go. So I think my war boss is quite the uh, quite the efficient tool on you right here. So he's going in. He does does not fail. His unavailable charge. Yay! Rest is here, stay like that. Um. So everything we just talked about, I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. I, I believe I am one to two temple weeks ahead of you. And this is a way to just give up one for free to kill 10 guards. I don't want to do that. So we're going into you. There you go. I mean, I'm an orc. Okay. <laughs> but I do need to know the distance to refigure. Because the other thing I get to do here is not come outside of the force field. Actually, no, no, don't don't kick off with the war boss. Kick off with some of the boys, put the knob in, it's gonna pick him up first, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and if I screw up my saves here, he dies. The rest of the or if I oh, do you have an invulnerable. Yeah, I only have one invul left. And as is it soon a as four up? It's a four up. As soon as he dies, then like I tank the rest of the orc boys on the, the two ups. Mm-hmm. Then war boss comes in so and cleans up. I start the over here to use the kill saw. Yep. Actually, I start up here because this is actually a good more attack. I'll start over here, kill saw you, and then void into this. But then you put it on the two ups. Well, the, 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 the key thing is the key saw, the kill saw kills him first, right? Mm-hmm. Almost guaranteed. Well, how many wounds are there? Um, there are three, and I've already suffered one wound, so he's down to two. Um, so 
the kicker is that when he dies, net attack, like I have. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to start over here. Same idea, but this is a bigger unit, so he gets an extra attack. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, and then, and then once the orc boy unit goes, the um, the war boss goes in and just picks yeah. up all those. You're also you're strength guys. five, right? I'm um, strength seven with the bonk balls. Okay. So you, so like, you I, I hit you with auto cannons in melee. Oh, okay. So two damage each. Yeah. So the boss is not going to do that anyway. Yeah. All right. So he is three base. He has two kill saws, and he has a big old unit of guys. He's hitting on threes because he's plus one minus one. So, uh, six up. Uh, Actually, I don't know. That's a plus two. Yes. No, oh, two, two, two plus. Uh, do I farm off of you? I do. Oh, you want to give me a command one? Yeah, well, it's because I have Esoteric Lore and Kurov's Alcala. Uh, anyway, so, first guy. Uh, four up. Oof. Oof. Well, he's down to one. Um, now the Orc Boys swing. And what do we figure? Two. Uh, yeah, French, uh, D6. Uh, we we agree, unfortunately, the camera placement and the way the whole garage setup works means that, yeah, we're completely washed out with light right now. Um, that's a fix we're trying to make, but we can't make it right now. But yes, going forward, we are definitely going to be looking at improving the whole lighting situation and the audio situation as well. So. Yeah, our, our, our mics did not function, so we had to use our podcast mic. Yep, we set everything up in a garage yesterday at night, uh, 20 minutes after the stream was supposed to start. Um, Five, ten, seven. Ten. 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 Okay, well, uh, let's see if I can make it nine. No, okay. So, nine saves on two ups now after that guy has died. Um, so, I have one more shield boy on one wound. Okay. So, we're just going to pass that over. So would you like to try to kill the war boss? <sighs> Two CP? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try. All right. um, so do I farm it? I have already farmed this turn. And this is where I should not have used the reroll on wound either. Every roll for damage will do this. So I did not charge, so I have four attacks. <laughs> and in fact, I probably only have three uh, because I've been dying out of the priest, priest frame. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have three attacks uh, and then plus one for the sergeant who is still kicking. So yeah, on threes. And then you are a toughness six. six. Uh, or might, I might be seven, actually. I'll oh, roll. Yeah. Um, and it will matter a little bit, potentially. Okay. Whoop. I, I, the, um, there's ah. some bonuses off of the, the strat I spent on him. And I think one might be toughness. Wounds and attack characteristic. Okay, cool. All right. So. Uh, so that means you have four wounds, so coming in. All right. I mean, realistically, even if the war boss dies, you're just going to pick me up with the kill saw. Well, exactly. I'll probably pick up the war boss or the other kill saw. Oh, the fight on death. I'm more game. worried about him not being here for the future. Yeah. Uh, but I save two of them. I take four damage. Yep. So now he's mad. He's mad. Not dead, though. Oh, and he's, he's in range of the same way. That's the ideal result, because he's also a meter pig, which the next turn, and I'm like, hey, back to normal. Yeah, all right, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to skip to him because you don't have any more involved, right? Yeah, no, you're going to pick up that unit right now. Plus one for being the big boss. The big boss. Oh, reroll wounds is part of this package. And reroll wounds. Um, he's strength. Four, five times minus three. Oh, minus three? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I have five ups. And I don't pass them. Flat four. Flat four. Blah. All right. So that's the Bulgren dealt with. Yep. So that is what we what we refer to as a problem. 
All right. Um, and then this unit still gets to go as his charger. Uh huh. Yep. Pile on in. I'm not gonna pile. No, I'm not gonna do that. But there's. I can go this way. So I'm just basically just sneak onto this objective. Yeah. To prevent you from killing the smaller unit and uh, stealing that from me. Uh, do you wish to? Uh, yep. Yeah, would you, you want to like to pick those models up? Yes, I would. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, actually, let me do this first. Oh, I, I have an idea where they were. Because I'm going to come around the back. He lost lots of damage to you. He's going to do the same. And then I'm going to come up here and touch this guy. Does that matter at all? I don't think it matters. That squad is within four, so I will come up to here. Tap them. Tap them all. So you can fight with all that stuff. Okay. You like? Um, oh, you, you could fight twice and just wipe them out. Right? I did and not then, declare you as a charge target. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ding, that, ding, is, ding. that is a big part of the new... So new I'm, I'm just going to go with this guy first. Um, he misses. Okay, yeah, he doesn't do anything. Um, these guys, you know... Oops. Guardsman! Yay! And then I have a chance sword. That's cool. Um, I'm so I'm so used to hitting up where you see my death for. Uh, that's two saves, sir. Got you, boys. Oof. Okay. All right. That's when we. That's when we get back in the fight. Done some uh, things. Get back in the fight and throw more grenades at you. I'm going to direct assault. Yep. Yes, sir. For another three points. Um, bring it down. I did some. Count that you count picked up. Uh, it'd be four points because you picked up two. Well, actually, no. It would be uh, six points because you picked up two chimeras and a wyvern. All right. So. Uh, and actually, I'm going to write this down real quick. That unit, you killed them down to 26, and then I brought them back. So let's make sure we make a note. Plus 26. You will likely finish the whole thing, but yeah, um, it is 150 models. Yeah, um, so let I'm going to have this unit fall back. You're going to get five points and gain a command point. Correct. So you want to bump me up to seven? Yeah. Your army has been pretty efficient. Yeah, vaguely. Your army plus the plus one per turn really feels pretty decent. Um. So, homeboy here is gonna. Back pedal a little bit. Like so. Uh, this guy. Is just gonna. He's like, oh, there's smash guns. I gotta. Like, I can make it so that can I can. Can you bring his, his front bumper back? Like an inch? There you go. I can still move one up to see him. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. That's just gonna be from getting like three of them on. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a little angle so I can see some. Well, I don't think I'm gonna, like because you're gonna be able to see me with a couple smash guns. Um, regardless, the the wyvern. I mean, we'll do that. I think the wyvern's time on this earth is, is limited. Um, okay, we're just gonna we're gonna yeah. slide him up. We're going to uh, drive these guys forward, the five inches. Have these guys fall back a little bit. Where's your nearest work character, by the way? They're all right. Okay. Chuck, you are being summoned. One second. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, and there's one next to Yeah, what's up? Six fighter horse have decided to fight a knight. Oh, sorry about your knight. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, chat. I don't know if pe folks were aware last night. We apparently discovered pyrovores were brutally overpowered. Yeah, that's um, really good. Well, the funny thing is, they're only 20 points of models, so, like, even if you kill them, they become more than 20 points of models. <laughs> they would like us to miniaturize some GoPros and put them on the guardsmen as their charge. Um, this would make me very happy. Um, I think what Jeremy's talking about there is if we just took one of these spotlights and put it over the camera and potentially because basically all of these are shadowed because there's so much light out there yeah, why, don't, why don't we why don't we why don't we do that um, we might have to do it after this stream this guy Colin was saying it's a power issue uh, I believe him but there's a huge there's this thing right here. power cable I'm gonna give it a try 
I mean, we might we might overdraw on that stream. I mean, this one's actually plugged in. So let's give it a try. See if it works. Nothing else. It's a good little experiment when we. Uh, Face cam, but you know. Yeah, that's not doing it. It's there's so much light coming from outside. Yeah. I mean, it's sunlight. Yeah, I've heard that thing's pretty good at light. Yeah, you know. It, you know, that jerk the sun, fusion powered. It's light. Just flexing on all of us. Yeah, it's a little better, but it's it's kind of crap. Well, since it's not really doing anything, I'm gonna experiment with it and see if we can uh, if we can do better. We're gonna advance. We're gonna advance this this priest. Technically, that's out of order, but life life finds a way. I'm gonna bring him up there. Okay. I, I made it better and worse, but you can see the mic. Does that make a difference? <laughs> what we can do is we can actually go GoPro with this guy. With the, with the camera? Yeah. I mean, we could. I don't think we have a long enough. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right. We're just gonna we're just gonna very briefly make everyone staring at that corner motion sick. Well, that's 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 the dangers of podcasts. <laughs> Bat reps. Not a professional camera person. At all. Huh. All right. Um, all right. Let's begin the um, shoesting phase, as it were. Um, Maybe I made it better. I don't. I don't know. I, I, I at least touched it. I wouldn't sweat it. I tried. Um, <laughs> so, well, we have to do the psychic phase. I'm dumb. I keep trying to skip that. Uh, yeah. So, so we're gonna try uh, mental interrogation on the war boss, I guess, from they, one of the, it's the from the, the from the, yeah from the uh, the plus one save guy. Yep. Um, uh, it goes off on a six. Alright. You want to do something it? about it? No. Super far away. Did you come up into range? No. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, cool. So I get I get a secondary point. Thank you very much. You get a mental interrogating. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the exact same power, well, not the same power, but I'm going to use the Inquisitor's ability to steal a CP from you mm -hmm. with a psychic power. Uh, and, and they're going to succeed. So I get a CP. You formed one of my turn, though. Uh, this is not, like, all sources. Like, I can't, like, use a strat to regain CP or a psychic power or... Yeah, essentially, you can you can regain the one at the beginning of your turn. And that then you can get one, one more at any point. All right, cool. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, well, I'm going to smite then, so I guess I'm going to smite some orcs. So I rolled a seven, so... Two dudes. Two dudes. Who's first? Um, and then we're going to night shroud the tank commander, like the the warlord tank commander, right. successfully. All right, so that's our psychic phase. We now actually move on to the shooting phase. Put that on the nitro deck. Uh, nitro is horrific for any sort of. Chance I, might get more shoot. I know. That's why I was like, hey, why don't I just preserve his likelihood yeah. of survival? Um, uh, and we're going to go into uh, the shooting phase. Um, this guy is going to order them to get back in the fight. Um, and then he is going to order these guys to first rank fire, second rank fire. 
so uh, many. For one Laz, CP. Laz Blasties. Laz Blasties. A caught of. I don't farm it, so I'm down to six. Um, next up, um, these guys are both going to shoot and scoot. Um, I believe the technical term for that strat is get around behind them. Um, this guy never hides each. is going to use smoke and sorry strike and shroud, mm-hmm. uh, which means he shoots and he pops smoke. Um, that's that. Uh, we're going to move on to the actual um, pulling of the triggers, um, knowing now that we cannot shoot and throw grenades at the same time. <laughs> uh, we are going to uh, go over to this squad. We're going to spend one CP. Do I farm it? No. Um, and they're all going to throw grenades at you. So this is 60 shots with grenades. So we want to break out that dice roller again. This is where I think the last is... Like, honestly, like, very quietly, 1CP, a guard squad, to run up to a unit of orc boys and throw 60 grenade shots at them is quite amusing. Yeah, Yeah. like, this is going to put a dent in me. It's also extra horrific to, like, imagine, like, a horde of demonettes. Mm -hmm. Just crush them. All right, um... Imagine Yarick too. Oh. Like I think, like I agreed with Co- I agree with Colin and Mitch oh, about yeah. Yarick being an auto include. We did not put Yarick in this list because that would have probably been a little bit cruel. Yeah, but also um, we, we just we wanted this to be the experiment that was this. Oh, it's very close, very close to dead on average. Um, oh. it's successfully knocking over all of my fives. Uh, so ten saves. Oof. Ten down. Ten down. Um, and then let's. Let's do uh, the first strike fire, yeah, second rank fire second shots. Here. Oh, you're going to yank yourself out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Uh, you could, you, if you killed two more, it would have pulled me out of the first strike, second rank. want this. Yeah, and more you, you want probably actually want to pull this yeah. way because if you pull... From the middle, you spaghetti line yourself, and the unit just zippers out of existence in consolidation. Yeah, it, the way I've got them in this line of two, I have to pull from one into the other. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to fight you or if I want to get the objective, and I've, I've decided to get the objective. So it looks like I've got six guys in rapid fire. Um, so that's going to bring us an awe inspiring um, math number of shots. Um, I'm briefly blanking on what six so times four is. 24. It's 24 shots. And then, um, and then we will also, on top of that, have um, six, sorry, not six, yeah, six more shots. Five more? Uh, six more, and then... So last pistol is somewhere. Last pistol doesn't have range. Right, that's what I mean. So you get six yeah, guys yeah. in range. And then, like, the sergeant is just not participating. Yeah. So, um, so it should be 30. 30 shots? Well, because oh, there's three guys twice. in the back shoot. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, 30 is easy. Go. That was a lot of discussion about trying to. We're very out. good at math. It was my don't, best. E- don't even doubt us. I'm sure this is being done properly. <laughs> no questions. Oof, that was not a great hit roll. You know, I won't. I won't complain too much. Four. Four. Three. Bra. Uh, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna heavy flame radio. I know. That sounds like a thing that the guard would do to some poor work. Eight. Eight shots. Um, that is going to inflict um, six saves on you, sir. Where the tape is going? Right here. Because I believe I've also fucked this up. <laughs> oh, no. So eight? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Pick the mob up. There we go. Did you get knob? That was four of them, and you said eight? Oh, I get the feeling of base on these. So one more. He's now dead. Okay. Three more get full saves. And I'll just one more. Okay. Cool. Um. So, so how many models points. are left in this unit? Fourteen. Fourteen. Cool. Um, if that's the case, then I am going to take this tank commander and have him pump all of his shots over here. 
um, because I want to kill them while the killing's good, um, and I can roll max shots. Okay, so, uh, and then we'll roll that heavy bolter afterwards, so this is hitting on threes. Twos? Picking up orcs. That is eight dead orcs. And then Heavy Burter, not going to do a damn thing. So they have a morale test. It's not as bad as it was before, but it's still not fun. No, oh, they will not pass that morale test. Oh, yeah, they will fail, but they will but probably I, I need lose and three guys. To get what I want out of them. Yep. Uh, we're going to go over here. I'm going to grab a few more dice. We're going to shoot some lines guns and some orcs. Yep. So, over here, fire away. This wasn't about like orc versus imperial guard. This is like, these could be demons. They could be whatever. Uh, how many said four? Yeah. Five of us. And six of us. Oh. Two. But yeah, our general group is sort of a fan of Yarik. Oh, I should have thrown a grenade. With or without? Uh, yeah. yeah, the sergeant. Actually, yeah. So the sergeant now always throws a grenade. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he's within range for sure. Um, you just take five more shots. There he is. Um, Take oh, okay. five more shots from the last one. All right. It's the same, right? It is. Uh, no, it would be... Oh, yeah, five more. Sorry, I had four dice. I was like, wait, I need one more. Because that's just because I don't know how to count. Uh, no. Oh. Sorry. Uh, All right. So, next squad, exact same dealio. So, that's going to be um, 24 shots. Okay. Woo. Absolutely fierce. Fierce little fools. Alright. That's pretty good hit rolls. These guys are more gung ho than their friends in Green Squad. Less sure of themselves in the wounding department, though. The four saves. Four? Not my responsibility. Not my responsibility. We're going to go over here. Manticore is going to go at this middle squad just to try and knock you off that objective. Do you have a tank commander with a 2 plus to hit? 2 plus to hit? Yeah. No. Okay. Why? I mean, I mean, somebody asked how, how, how that happened. And I, I, I did I accidentally pick up a 2? I was hitting on 3s. They just asked how you got a tank commander to get a 2 plus to hit. Either you picked up a dice or maybe with Yeah, I must have picked up a dice. No, I do not have a tank commander with plus <laughs> one to hit. I have apologies. Uh, maybe the camera is blurry. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, yeah, we're going to fire the Manticore at middle squad here. Nope. So, I'm going to be hitting on fours. No direct fire bonus for me. Um, and firing away. That looks like a full house of wounds. So, that's six wounds. Five ups, they do half of those, and then two saves at multiple damage. Uh, one, so one passes, and one at three. Cool. And he really wanted to pass. Two. Yep. All right. So um, that means um, we're actually going to count. That is very annoying. That is exactly 11. We're going to take advantage of that. Over here, um, this get, guy. Get to blasting while the blasting's yeah, good. Yeah, we're going to get to blasting while the blasting's good. Uh, battle cannon here. We're actually going to put all of our spots in here just okay. to try and pick up that unit. Sure. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's resolve spots in first. Um, that is excellence. 
That's just eight. Okay, five, yeah. Five, but I only have six. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, tank commander was mad. Uh, well, we're going to fire the main gun. We've tried really hard to take that objective, and you're just not having it. I mean, honestly, all you have to do is be on it at the start of my turn. Like, that's the real kicker with going first, is just, like, you have that tempo Keep advantage. Yeah. All right, so 12 shots, Wait, hitting right on here. threes. You've done the going second thing. By, by killing them off there and putting enough objective secure here, I am not going to get down. Yeah. I'm never going to use a 50. We're, yeah, like, we're, we're, we're knocking each other off, but the person who got on the back foot first is yeah. kept well, there. You're getting five. I'm getting 10, ten, and we're just rotating that, I'm like, okay. Yep, it's a five-point <laughs> deficit that's growing every turn. So on twos, on that squad, woo! Uh, seven saves. Seven saves. You killed one. Oof! That's ridiculous. Uh, well, was the female beings that were passing? Yeah. How many? Two? Oh, it's, it's a battle cannon. So. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood. Uh, so one passes, and then one passes. No. Oh, yeah, we got him. Woo! Oh, is this what, this squad here? Yeah, that was that squad. I'm doing all sorts of things wrong. So I just, um, you know, I'm hammering myself out of useful blast range here. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the other tank commander, the guy that's um, Did you just complain nitro. about my units getting really small? <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is just too much killing for me. It well, sucks. It's like, well, it's like I didn't kill enough, right? Yeah, I, you, just, you I wanna... just did. I tickle damaged you right below the threshold yeah. I needed. You want to give me the eleven and then just hit with, yeah, as much as as much as you as I can. So we're actually going to do what we did before, where we're going to put all of our heavy bolters at our weakened yeah. unit mm -hmm. and then dedicate the blast yeah. to the full just unit. Maximize your damage. Um, I mean, realistically, how many men are in this? Four, seven, eight, seven, eight. Actually. The correct call is just to prevent you because you have three CP. I don't want that unit coming back to I can't do that. Oh, you can't do that? It's one one again. One again. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so. Also, somewhere in here, I forgot this, and I'm just going to fix it. Okay, cool. Um, um, <laughs> we're. Uh, sorry, I'm pointing at them. Yeah, let's do the heavy bolters. So first. this is full blast into the small unit. Full blast is going into the big unit, heavy bolters into the small unit. So okay. The opposite. Maximize. All right, here we go. Cool. All right, so that is going to be four saves. And this is on the whole Yep. I got one. Oh. These guys are doing great. They're doing amazing. We don't want to die. All right, so full shot on Battle Cannon into the other unit. Passing force field is worth its weight in gold, my friends. Hundred and fifty percent. All right, so these are wounds. How many? Eight. Eight. On big boys. Six get in. On the right. one. Two big boys. One time. Two damage. On the six. It certainly hurts. Uh, what else do you have left to shoot? <laughs> Nothing. Great. I'm like, over from over here. Two, three, four, five, six, because I don't need to protect the character anymore. Yep, 100%. Um, so, this is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and be as annoying as possible. How many attacks? Is this top unit gonna output at me? Oh, charge gonna, block me. Not charge block you, just like hello. Walk yeah. up to a single orc boy and like put my hand on his shoulder. So let's assume you come with a hand here. These three move up. These three move up. I'll assume I like land like they do. Yeah. You're, you're like not gonna engage more than these six. Yeah. Um, So that six would be three attacks each for uh, 18. 18 attacks. Uh, twos. So 15 hits, 10 wounds. You're safe. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to declare a charge over here. Uh, no, you're not. I'll consolidate six dudes on there. I will beat on you. And then you will drop below me and get your wise and I'll um, if, if I do not do that, and I do not charge in here, 
the, oh, the, the, the sorry, the tank commanders also need to scoot back five. Yeah. That's something that happens. Right. So you're, you're willing to take that risk because you don't like, want I, this unit I to charge. I want them you. off of my tank commanders. Makes I sense. want to okay. force you. Like I like I will, I'm fully acknowledging the fact that I'm going to start bleeding on primary. I don't want to die. Right. Yeah. Right? You want you want some tools later for later, later moves. That makes sense. So this guy is going to beep, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're just gonna just make space. Yeah, we're we're like there's a lot of smash guns this way. Because I, I will wrap a tank. I remember how to do it. Yeah, you will wrap a tank. Um, we're gonna rotate like this. Um, yeah, he's actually just gonna be like there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I'm going to accept the fact there are smash guns here that can shoot me. I cool. want to minimize these smashes. Come on. Okay. So, uh, charging you guys over there. You're not going to declare Overwatch, I presume. Nope. Um, I don't believe this army knows that that is. Dude, because that makes a massive swing in your your value here. Um, and I'm also gonna charge. Oh, right here. Uh, go ahead and do that, Willie. Yep. Uh, lock. He goes in deep. He goes in deep. This guy goes here. He can go here. All right. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's actually pretty bad. Three, six, eight of them. Eight of them are going to attack. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Like it, it's a risky play. But yeah, no. you're just trying to get lucky at that point, but probably worth it. And then we'll just stay in a nice line here. So, Chuck, I trust you uh, mm -hmm. to successfully roll five up saves for me. Uh, I'm going to hit the bathroom really quick, but I'll be right back while you, because you've got a lot of stuff to pile in and figure out. Right. Well, you get to punch me. Oh yeah. I mean, okay. So I'm also going to spend one CP. Because mm -hmm. screw it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't spend it. Um. Yep. Uh. So yeah. Three. Actually, sorry. It's it. Uh. No. I'm I'm still at half. Okay. So two hits. Two ones. JP. No. One damage. Yeah. Okay, you got one. Womp. Absolutely. Someone in combat with me. Do you want to touch me? Yeah. Shocking. Um, and then over there. We'll go. Alright, so did you successfully get that entire unit? You got a lot of them. I'm gonna have I'm gonna pull three guys out of the combat in terms of attacks. Hmm? Like how many guys? Um, oh here? Yeah, I have oh, right. three guys that aren't gonna be able to swing right now. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't even trying to reduce your wee little Two. attacks. Two. Two! And I'm outside the field, so it's just uh, six ups and six ups. You got one. Nice. I will pull one that doesn't matter. All right. Um, and then I'll do this if you want to run. Did you want to throw some money? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Let me do that. I've been fighting with one less attack with all of my works. This entire time. Oh, really? Yeah, I forgot the choppers. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I am good work. Being rusty sucks. Okay, we're attacking the chimera. We're in range of the uh, the field. Or the, um, uh, well, we are in range of the field. More importantly, the banner. And it's T6 or 7, so it's the same. So only fives. I actually don't remember this part with three up. It doesn't matter. He's going to take two of them. Oh, he's down to three. But he has frozen that unit up. Can't confirm. Warlord trick, pull back and charge. It's definitely where you want your board now. It's not a, it's not a question anymore. Over here, we got eight boys in. They are below 20. So they're going to be three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight 
Pitting on twos to the banner. on the objective. Uh, he probably would have also wanted to do this. Um, and then I move in again.